Alright. <laughs> I I was just looking at something. Uh, I'm just gonna start here. Hello, howdy duty guys and gals, my name is Juicy, and today we're playing summer of 1958, I think it is. Um we're just gonna get straight into it. I think I got my flashlight. That flashlight? Yep. This is not what I was expecting. I did I just clicked level selector. Okay, so this is just a level selector. Oh my fucking god! What the? F that was just a level select. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe me, rise and your f not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton and we're getting started. Oh yeah. I can't believe that scare. Holy crap. That was a bit cheeky. Oh, we're just... Oh, we're just watching a video. Okay. Bastard. It's not good to put poop on the walls. And write bastard on it. Oh, there's someone leaking blood. Crazy devil mask, okay. I searched all the corners, but didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to, going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about uh, for so many years are true. Oh god, I must have read that. They said that there were ghosts of dead people in this place. At the hands of one of the residents, he himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. Uh, in keeping with my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave, to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. Uh, I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food for me. Ooh, we got some yummy food. Now, why would you shut the door behind you? Need to explore the camp. <sighs> okay, we need the fuse blown. There's no light in the building. This is a very nice looking game. And now, judging from that scare from the level select, this game is not going to show any mercy. Oh, I'm just gonna break these very slowly. Oh, there's cats here. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to listen for the purse, so they're right there. Okay, they're they're my protectors. Please protect me, cats. I don't want to die. Please protect me from the scaries. I can't see anything. Uh, my dictionary. Cool. So we're gonna let's read this. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and the employees of the UNOS Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of Director Maria Antolevna. Hey, the suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is now is not unknown. It's not known. Not unknown. That didn't make sense. Yakov! Okay, God gives me shivers knowing his name. I don't really like that. Um, why would I? Oh, cat? Okay, cats. He's okay. It'll be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Okay, that. Cats. Are you... Oh. Oh. There's candles. Ah, oh, that's convenient. Oh. Oh, it's a baby ball thing. Okay, okay, right, there's another, another thing. 1955, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was alright with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one. Only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. Uh, 
need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I'll give you give my shoes a return. Yeah, I hope I don't have to do that. Like down, go, just just go and camping. Just go and camping. Done. Need to prepare for the night. That's all we do. Just go camping when you. Oh god. We're just going straight in. Night one. I don't like that. I don't like... Uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have blown it out. I'm sorry, camera. Oh, what was that sound? Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, there's a few more dead birds than last time. Interesting. No? Alright. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh! Uh. He's gonna punch me in my dick. I think he just did. He just fuck. He just punched me right in the dick. Oh yeah, alright, it's on the ground. Oh, it's got a note. Oh, yours truly, Yakov. I can't. Oh, God damn it. I can't read what it says. Gotta get my dictionary. Let's see what it says. You're not welcome here. I don't want to turn around. Okay, the breathing, the breathing has gotten further away, which means he's not behind me anymore. Are you? Okay. Oh, oh my God. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tie her hands and pour water over her. Okay, that's a bit fucked up, waterboarding some girl. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas all wet and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. I hope it's not a full moon soon. Late at night when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fool. And the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The counters do not know what they have fun means to a fool. The fool decides that enough is enough. And he, he that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Okay. At least I got more... More, more cushioning. I got more protection. We could do that thing where if you wrap yourself in enough, enough uh, stuff, you can't get got by the demons. I do this every night. I swear to God, if a fucking kid charges me running on all fours, I don't know what will happen. I may, I may swallow my throat, swallow my tongue. I mean, and shit myself. We not our sleeping bag isn't safe no more. We see <laughs> old lady, fucking bitch. All right, I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon. All right, well, off to bed I go again. Oh, 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 something's. I hear something outside again. Oh, clock stopped at 3.07. Oh, it's funny how clocks do that. Alright, we got light. We got light now, so it... Doesn't really... Just grab. Just for the love of God, grab. Uh, 
Okay. Right, into the vent. Oh, they dragged the whole thing. Oh, it? Okay, so music box. I heard the door shut behind me. It's locked. It'd be interesting to know what's inside. I don't think it would be. Duh. Oh. Okay, well, at least we know we got running water. Oh, is it? I want to look at that thing there. What's in this box? Oh my god, you motherfucker! Oh, she took the box and the fucking doll too, that little bitch. Yeah. Oh, just kill me. Please! <laughs> oh my, now the dolls are moving, huh? God, I don't like that. I fucking don't like the breathing. That's diary. Dear diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this day for this for three years, so that summer will be special for me. During these days, I'll be, br I'll, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. God, I misread that completely. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh God. Oh, it forced a burp out of me. Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. Why would I not bother them? I need to bother them. Everyone, wake up, you fucks. Why are you sleeping? Why am I awake? They got the fucking radio on. Safe. We'll be we hiding. Oh, what's in this desk? Why are you open? There's a note. Uh, Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I until I hide her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. What an asshole. Yeah, exactly. But fucking. Oh god. Oh, there's a key. Okay, okay, am I gonna... Okay, cool. A key to the safe. Mm, you filthy child. Are you breathing? Is it this safe? Is this the safe? Okay, there we go. Push it in. What's in here? I hear breathing. Are you in the vent, you little fuck? Oh, see gas mask? I see. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. I'm not going to bring my gas mask. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. Oh, explains why I ruined... He ruined my gas mask. That shit. Jack off, you motherfucker. Um... I did see that correctly. Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go... That did not look like a normal fucking kid. That looked like some fucking demon child from fucking hell. Oh my god, what the fuck? Time to gas the kids! And the counselors! Gonna stuff the kidneys and organs! Oh, so that's why the siren was playing! Oh my god. Ivana! We're saving the kid. We're saving our kid. Uh oh. We've been stooged. Uh, I think Yakov just fucking gassed us. Uh, uh, turn off, turn off, turn off! Nope, nope, nope. Can't, can't do anything. That's it. Well, oh, just press escape and it goes straight there. Okay! That was summer of 58!
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Do you want me to keep on going? Um, yeah, this is very, very scary game. Very, very scary. Very good looking, very good sound. God, they know what they're doing, these people. I can't remember the name. I think it's Ed Edica or something. Um, yeah, holy crap. Uh, yeah, with that, thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.